Hey guys, Luxreak899. I have got here a um Warrior Helix that I got in a trade. I um traded him a Crypto Pro Diamond 10 or 9, I don't know what it is, blue for Warrior Helix, Brian Voice, and uh Brian Swiss Scandium 7075 Alloy with the logo shape off. Really nice butt. This was the Laxer 971. And then the Helix had white East Coast mesh on it that I took off. And conveniently, it was already folded nine diamonds across the top, so I can do a tri top or a, a bear claw, which I made up at crease dive across. So, um, well, the first thing I noticed is I was like, oh, this head has pretty good offset in up on the top, which it does. And then I turned it upside down, and then it has reverse offset. It's like down here, it flares like out like this, and then as it goes up, it comes more and more in. I, I think that's meant more for like low pockets. So like you catch it up here, you have more room to catch, and then the ball falls down, and it can't really come out. But then again, I've never played with Helix, and um also, I think this might be OG because it has like the patent number on it. You guys definitely cannot see that. I was in the wrong place. Where's my hand? There. You guys can probably it's, it's embossed in the head. I think that means it's OG, but I'm not sure. And it has like these little scratch marks on it. Like, not scratch marks, like, I don't even know what they are. You might be able to see them. I mean, I'm not sure though, so don't get mad at me for like saying, like, saying it's an OG even though it's not. So, um, it has a limited amount of sidewall holes. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 sidewall holes. Um, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 top holes. But only four of them are good size, and the rest are way too tiny to probably do anything. You could probably do like some bursts, which gender strings made up to go all of those. Um, this is kind of pretty dirty. I'm gonna get some of the SOS um, steel wall pads. You just put under water, and then you can um, easily wash your easily like scrub it all off. Wow, my hair looks really bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. String the voice with these custom mesh because it'll be like black with all white. And then I'll clean this up, string it with like. So I want to try soft mesh. I haven't ha I've never actually played with legit soft mesh. I played with that fake soft mesh when I was um little and I had the fake sticks. Um, so that that's the only time I've ever, ever actually played with soft mesh. So next, I'll. I already have a review on the voice. I'll review the shaft. Oh, no, this is this is an overview video, not a review video. I'll just go ahead and do this. Um, it's pretty light. Um, and logo shaved off so it looks nice and clean. It's pretty light. And um, I would think it's pretty durable. And I also don't think it does not dent easily. Dented the wood though. It's weird. Um, I. I don't really don't know how to do overviews and reviews on shafts. I, all I know to say is, like, are they durable? Do they dent easily? And um, how light are they? That's all I really know. And that's got the oval um, shape on the one bottom. It's open, and I'm pretty sure that's illegal to play with when it's open like this. So I can just, like, during games, I can just stick a piece of tape over but for now, I think I'm going to put, um, like, a Corona Extra beer bottle cap. That might look cool. So, um, thanks, guys.